everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video today i will be cleaning my kitchen and decorating it for summer so i hope you guys enjoy i'm really excited about this video not only because i get to decorate and i get to clean up the mess that i have but i'm also really excited to share with you guys that this is a video and collab with mandy from the channel hey it's mandy she is honestly the sweetest most awesome kindest person that i've met here on youtube she is seriously so down to earth and she's always willing to lend a helping hand she always has encouraging words for me and she's just awesome you guys not just is she an awesome person she's also an awesome youtube creator she has a lot of cleaning motivation over on her channel and honestly like i love all of her videos they just motivate me and pump me to get cleaning because lord knows i need that motivation sometimes so if you guys are into those type of videos i definitely recommend heading on over to her channel hitting that subscribe button and letting her know that i sent you but yeah you guys i'm really excited to get to decorating this time around i wanted to go for a like neutral farmhouse style for my early summer decor i usually go with like brighter colors for summer but i just wasn't ready for that quite yet so i wanted to go for a more neutral like color palette so that is what i'm doing as well as i need to get everything cleaned up because it is a mess we started on our master bedroom remodel so it's a complete mess out here so i hope you guys enjoy it and let's get on into decorating okay so to get started i went ahead and just picked up everything that was in my kitchen this was a complete and utter mess because we did start remodeling our master bedroom or at least giving it a makeover so we just had a mess here from the day before so that's how i'm going to go ahead and get started is just by cleaning everything up Okay, so then I went ahead and I moved on to putting the dry dishes away just because I wanted to get ready to wash the dirty dishes that are currently in the sink and I just didn't want to mix them up at all. So I just went ahead and I put away the dry dishes. That way I can wash the dishes once I was ready. And after I did that, I didn't even wash the dishes yet, but I decided to just take off or take down all of my decor that I had. I did leave some pieces out in that corner over there like you guys are seeing me do because I knew that maybe I could reuse them so I didn't want to exactly put them away just yet until I knew whether I was going to use them or whether I wasn't. So that is everything I'm doing. I'm just gonna take down everything. I kind of separated into what's like my ray done and then what's actual like decor that I use and that is what I do when I'm taking down my decor. You guys will be able to see in just a while but to store my decor I was just using a container that I bought from Walmart and for now I was storing everything in this container but because I did shop my house, what I'm going to do after I'm finished decorating my whole house is I will be taking out all of my containers and just reorganizing by season. So just it's much easier for me to find my decor. But now moving on to the rods in my kitchen, I told you guys that I wanted to decorate them differently this time around. Of course, I still need to stick to things that I can hang so you guys will still see some of the similar items. But I'm really happy with how this turned out and I like the overall vibe. 
but what inspired me this time around was this basket i really wanted to hang a cutting board as well as my magnolia table cookbook in here so that is what inspired the overall theme of these two hooks and you guys will see right now i just went ahead and i hung the kitchen towel i got from hobby lobby if you guys haven't seen that haul i'll link it up here in the corner but it just says i love you a bushel and a peck which i think is adorable and I think that charcoal gray color really stands out on my white wall. I went ahead and I hung up my like vintage hand mixer and then I added a few extra items. This colander right here that I got, I got from Target last year and I had it on my kitchen island and I was putting it away in the bin when I thought, hmm, maybe this might look nice hung up and i absolutely love how it turned out as well as paired with the enamel tablespoons that i got from hobby lobby i just think these two hooks overall ended up looking better than i could have expected For the basket with the cutting board and the magnolia table cookbook i was having trouble because it wouldn't stand straight and i kind of wanted it to stand like even with the rod so what i did is i just took some pieces of styrofoam i taped them together and then i just placed them behind as support so then I just went ahead and I cleaned the top of my fridge. I thought it would be super dusty, but surprisingly it was not dusty at all. Like, at least not what I was expecting. So I was pretty happy that it wasn't super dirty. But I just went ahead and cleaned it, stored some things in this general store uh, storage bin that you guys are seeing. And then I just moved on to the front of my fridge. I'm just using the Windex and vinegar combination and I it does wonders for stainless steel when you use a paper towel so that is what I'm doing and then I'm moving on over to the countertops next to my stove and what I do here is I go ahead and I removed everything and I sprayed it down with that same Windex and vinegar solution and then I wipe that down first and later on you guys will see when I apply an anti back cleaner so I use micro band and again you'll be able to see in just a minute but right now I am just focusing on cleaning everything down at least the first coat of cleaning and then I'll go ahead and again like I said use micro band now I see clear as day and I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me so I decided to use the white kitchen towel in front of my stove because the white stood out on the stove more than it did on the white wall. So I think it looked really cute here. And then in this corner, I added my vintage scale my friend Olivia gifted to me. And on top of it, I added this striped napkin. And over top the napkin, I added my hearth and hand planter. It, I believe it's the rosemary one. And then right beside it, I did add my Ray Dunn mister. And in front of both those items, I added this cool candle right here. It is in a vintage vessel. It's by Montana Farmhouse and it smells amazing. I'll have her Instagram down below as well as her website so you guys can check it out. And over on the other side of my stove, I just took out my crock and added my wooden utensils. 
as well as the little galvanized bucket with the salt and pepper shakers. Now you guys, I did play around with this corner a little bit. Um, you guys will be able to see I tried adding greenery, I tried adding some more Ray Dunn, and in the end I did end up changing it, but you guys will see exactly how it turned out at the end. So before washing the dishes, I decided to go ahead and take out my Raydan soap dispensers because I did run out of the Mrs. Myers ones that you guys just saw. So I just have this one with hand soap and the following one has a dish soap. So that is what I'm going to use. I feel like the clean Raydan look really fits my theme right now. So that is exactly what I'm going to do and then I'm going to do the dreaded task of washing dishes and putting them away but with the magic of YouTube you guys only have to see a few seconds of it but it was definitely dreaded by me that's why I left it till the end. And after my sink was all nice and clean, now I get to clean my island and I did it the same exact way that I did the countertops behind me. But I started with the Windex and Vinegar combination product and then I went ahead and I used Microban and I let it sit for a minute and then I go ahead and I wipe it down. Those are the instructions that come with Microban, at least to kill like bacteria so that is what I did and then I went ahead and I swept and then I used my steam mop and that is basically it you guys that is everything for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it got some motivation to clean as well as some decorating inspiration I hope you guys like the theme that I decided to go with I know I didn't use a lot of pop of colors but I'm kind of feeling the fresh clean farmhouse look so that is what my next videos will consist of so again please don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you have not click your notification bell and I will see you guys in my next one bye